Corn High on the 4th of July, The Hick from French Lick, Hoosiers, John Wooden, Hinkle Fieldhouse. Sure, they're all part of Indiana lore and Indiana basketball, which is one and the same. But there's a new story unfolding, being written by two Canadian kids thriving in the American heartland. One of the league's best first-year players, Benedict Mathurin. Andrew Nemhard. Benedict Mathurin and Andrew Nemhard have their differences. Mathurin is a high-flying wing from Montreal who looks to eviscerate NBA defenses from the perimeter, in the paint, and above the rim. Oh, my goodness, Nemhard is a crafty point guard from Toronto with size and smarts who can handle his business on defense, can pick you apart on offense, and has a knack for the big moment. This is to win the game! Indiana wins it! And together, they're making the Pacers Canada's other NBA team. They are the pillars of a rapid Pacers rebuild that has a franchise that was once thinking lottery, all of a sudden thinking playoffs. Pacer fans, you've got to be happy. Yes. I said anything's possible. I say everything is possible. Canada is a big basketball country, and every player in this record-setting generation of talent has taken a slightly different route to the NBA. Maturin and Nemhard have each shone a light down different paths. Maturin left Montreal for Mexico City at age 15 to play and learn at the NBA Academy there. Then it was a starring role in Arizona, all-American recognition, and a spot in the NBA draft lottery. Nemhard took a long road too. High school in Florida, where he was a teammate with RJ Barrett, two years playing college at Florida, two more for Gonzaga, and finally having to wait until the second round to hear his name at the draft. But once the Canadian kids arrived in Indiana, good things began to happen. And another chapter in Indiana's long basketball history is poised to be written.